بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, good evening everyone um my name is aditya and i'm doing my final year engineering in chennai um though i'm a hindu i have been having this uh, question about islam that i wanted to ask and no better a person than dr zakir naik uh as you said you speak many times the holy quran was written 1400 years ago and is considered the most worthy and the latest revelation given by allah so i have two questions to you allah who knows all why didn't he give his best of revelation the first time itself to the first of messengers and why did god take so many times to give his best of knowledge and my second question which is related to this is even before the holy quran was written that is 1400 years ago human beings had lived in the earth for thousands of years so why did allah the most merciful didn't give them that best knowledge which he has given us for the last 1400 years thank you the brother asked a very good question very relevant question two questions both the questions are overlapping the answers he said that why did allah subhanahu wa taala give this last and final revelation 1400 years ago why not in day one when you been with there and second part which is a part of the same question that what about the people who lived before 14 years ago they were deprived of the quran so if allah is most merciful most gracious most beneficent so isn't it that the people earlier before for any other deprive very good question to reply a question my son he tells me that abba father you want me to become a doctor why do you would mean nursery first standard second standard then school then college why don't you put me into medical college directly if i want my son to become a medical doctor i don't have to put him in the medical college directly i have to first make the grounds very clear first he goes into the pre primary school then goes into the school first standard onwards on passes school then goes to the higher school then college and when he's fit then he enters the medical college similarly almighty god who has knowledge of the unseen has knowledge of everything he even has knowledge of the human beings so it is mentioned in the quran in surah rad chapter number 13 verse number 38 allah says likulli ajlin kitab that we have sent a revelation in every age in every period by name four are mentioned in the quran torah zabur injil and the quran but there were several revelations sent the first revelation almighty god knew that the human beings had to develop if he would have revealed the quran at the first time at the time of adam peace be upon him he knew the human beings won't be able to grasp it that is the reason in the revelation that came before the quran that is the injil today we have the bible though we don't consider the bible to be the injil but some parts of the bible may be the word of god it's mentioned in the bible in the gospel of john chapter number 16 verse number 20 14 jesus christ peace be upon him says i have many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he shall show you the way to come he shall glorify me so your jesus christ peace be upon him he knew but yet he said that you will not be able to grasp it therefore when the last and final messenger will come he will show you things to come so similarly almighty god he knew very well that when is the right time for the human beings to receive the last and final revelation the quran and that was about 400 years ago as far as the second part of the question is concerned what about the people that came before the quran was revealed i will tell them that if my son goes to standard 1 he will not be given the medical question paper he will be given the question paper of standard 1 if he goes to higher school he will be given the question of higher school then junior college fine so similarly the basic message of almighty god in all the scriptures in all the revelations from the first revelation till the last revelation quran was the same that you have to believe in one god that you have to worship him and no one else to so all the messengers right from the first messenger adam peace be upon him right down to noah abraham moses jesus muhammad peace be upon them all all of them 
taught the basic message of oneness of God and about Tawheed. And about this message of oneness of God and Tawheed, inshallah, I'll be discussing in detail on the last day of this conference, on the last Sunday, that's the 20th of January, inshallah. Hope that answers the question.